Every day, many of us travel to and from work on the bus, subway, or train, and that can sometimes be full of hassle. And that's why you should have an electric folding bike. They are quick and can fold up to easily bring on public transportation and are more secure than traditional bikes as you can store them under your desk or in your trunk, as opposed to locking them outside and hoping for the best. Number 10, London by Citizen Bike. Our first folding electric bicycle on the list is actually two bikes from the same manufacturer. And of course, I'm talking about the London and Lil London folding e-bikes from US-based Citizen Bike. This unique brand delivers manufacturer direct to customers so there are no distributors, mega resellers, or commission-hungry middlemen to make the bikes more expensive. Simply order via their online product page and they will install any additional accessories you request as well as give your bike a sweet tune-up right in the Citizen and headquarters, saving you a bundle and eliminating the hassle of going to a bike shop to get your bike all set up. The London Folding E-Bike has 20-inch tires for a fast and smooth, effortless ride, and a Shimano brand 7-speed drivetrain that'll make tackling inclines a piece of cake. The frame is hand-welded, and the folding mechanism requires no additional tools, so it is super easy to use. Simply fold or unfold, and you're ready to go. One of our favorite things about this folding e-bike is that the Samsung 36 volt battery pack is cleverly hidden within the removable seat post for added security and, depending on the assistance level, it can deliver over 25 miles of range. The high speed 350 watt rear hub mounted motor allows you to stretch your adventure and ease your commute with a top speed of 20 miles per hour. And if you're looking for something a little more compact, then check out the Little London e-bike. For about $200 less, you can have a foldable electric bike with 16 inch tires, meaning the bike is more compact, but you may have a less pleasurable riding experience. The Lil London has only one speed instead of the seven speed Shimano gears the regular London had, but it can still still get around effortlessly with the assistance of the 250 watt rear hub mounted motor. Get yours now for $800. Number 9. Swagtron EB7 Up next is the Swagtron EB7 by Swagtron. But don't be fooled by the interesting name as the Swagtron brand is tried and tested and offers some of the highest quality electric folding bikes with the best prices around. This premium folding e-bike is great for casual cruisers, campus students, and city commuters. The sleek design and powerful 350 watt rear hub mounted motor lets riders go faster and further than before. And the super efficient 36 volt lithium ion battery offers an extended range of over 15 miles. The top speed is roughly 18 miles per hour, making it ideal for getting around town in a hurry without breaking a sweat. What's more, the battery is safely locked within the frame, so you don't have to worry about it being stolen, and it can be fully charged within two to three hours. The Swagtron EV7 comes with 16-inch tires, making it comparable in size and riding comfort to the Lil' London we previously mentioned. Get the EV7 now for about $800. Number 8. The Loic Concept Folding E-Bike Coming in at number 8 is a concept bike by German-based folding e-bike company Veloic. Initially revealed on Kickstarter, this folding e-bike claims to declare war on traditional e-bikes by offering an e-bike that is portable, simple to transport and store, and theft resistant. What's more, it can be folded and unfolded in under 10 seconds, so you can take your bike on a train or bus or any other public transportation and get to work or school without breaking a sweat. The 350 watt rear hub mounted brushless motor helps the bike tackle inclines of up to 18 degrees and delivers a speed of 25 kilometers or 15 miles per hour. We especially like that the 14 amp hour 36 volt battery pack is discreetly hidden within the seat post, much like the London by Citizen Bikes. And the battery delivers a much better 80 kilometer or 50 mile range and takes approximately six hours to charge from zero to 100%. The advanced PAS or pedal assist system ensures your pedaling is always perfectly matched to the required engine performance. And the multi-function LCD display has a reliable 12-point sensor so you can always see your speed, battery power, and distance traveled. Number seven, Fido D11. Fido, spelled F-I-I-D-O, is an electric bike and electric scooter company that delivers well-designed mobility products globally, and their D11 model is one of our favorites. 
Combining an attractive and stylish look with great performance, the Fido D11 achieves the perfect balance between form and function. As it is quickly becoming the norm on this list, the 36 volt 11.6 amp hour battery is concealed within the seat post, creating an added level of security, while delivering up to 100 kilometers or 62 miles of range, making this the longest range capable folding electric bike we've discussed thus far. When the battery runs dry, simply bring it inside and plug Plug it into any standard outlet for a total charging time of 7 hours. The body structure and design is really what sets this folding e-bike apart. The aerospace grade aluminum alloy frame conforms to many ergonomic design specifications and the adjustable leather seat is super comfortable. The 250 watt rear hub mounted brushless motor delivers 35 newton meters of torque and a top speed of 15 miles per hour or roughly 25 kilometers per hour. The clear LCD display and variable 7-speed system allow the user to ride effortlessly at a constant or adjustable speed. This folding e-bike is a steal at $999. US Number 6. Swag Cycle Pro while not for everyone, the Swag Cycle Pro is a pedal-free electric scooter bike from Swagtron that is both affordable and convenient. With a 12-inch tire in the front and a 10-inch tire in the rear, this folding e-bike scooter thing is sure to turn heads as you cruise to and from work or school. To compensate for not having pedals to help with locomotion, the company installed a slightly larger high-torque 350-watt motor on the rear hub that delivers a top speed of 18 miles per hour. The bike weighs only 30 pounds, but is capable of carrying passengers up to 264 pounds. And, as you probably guessed, the compact folding design of this e-bike is the best on the list as it is undoubtedly the smallest bike we've featured thus far. The Swag Cycle Pro is app enabled so you can track all of your rides as well as see your average speeds and battery level. Despite what you may think, there are plenty of satisfied owners of the Swag Cycle Pro and 5 star ratings seem to follow wherever it is purchased. The best part? This little gem is only $549. Number 5. Saunders Fold X Coming in at number 5 on our list of the best folding e-bikes is the powerful Fold X by Saunders. This electric folding bike appeals to the rider who cares more about comfort and style than portability, as it weighs 66 pounds, nearly twice the weight of any other folding bike we've discussed thus far. It does have the power to push the weight, however, as the pedal-assisted brushless rear hub motor is 500 watts, bigger than any motor on the list so far. The top speed is 20 miles per hour, and the Shimano 7-speed gear shift allow you to tackle hills effortlessly. The wheels are 20 by 4 inch fat tires, making for a comfortable ride no matter what terrain you're on, and the 48 volt 14 amp hour lithium ion Panasonic battery cell delivers a range of 40 to 60 miles. The black and white LCD screen delivers all the information the rider needs like speed, battery usage, and distance traveled. We previously reviewed another product by Saunders, the MetaCycle, and it was really futuristic. If you're interested in that review, go ahead and click on the link in the upper right hand corner. The Saunders Fold X is available in two colors, torch and pistol matte. Get yours now for $12.99 paid in full or use their Flex Pay plan and pay only $299 a month. Number 4. Velo Folding E-Bike while not the most futuristic looking folding e-bike in this video, the VeloBike Plus has minimalist design down to an art form. This champion of minimalism is by far the lightest of the video, weighing in at just 26 pounds for the steel frame, 24 pounds for the titanium frame, and only 21 pounds for the carbon fiber frame. The patented vertical folding mechanism allows the bike to fold into a super small package so you can take it with you everywhere, keeping it safe from theft and bad weather. The folded dimensions are 28.4 by 20.9 by 9.1 inches, and the tool-free adjustable saddle and handlebars allow for easy adjustments on the go. The rear suspension and hydraulic disc brakes ensure the rider always has a safe and comfortable riding experience. One interesting thing to note is that the Velo Bike Plus comes with a drive belt instead of a traditional bike chain, making for a lower maintenance and cleaner ride. The Velo also recuperates kinetic energy when going downhill, delivering it directly back to the battery for additional range. And the 250 watt motorized hub is Bluetooth enabled and delivers roughly 30 newton meters of torque and a top speed of 15 to 18 miles per hour. The battery pack is also mounted within the hub and delivers 31 miles of range and is rated for over a thousand cycles. Number three, Aventon Cinch. 
The Aventon Cinch is another fat tire style folding bike that provides excellent stability and comfort whether on the pavement or on the trail. And what makes this folding e-bike truly unique is the fully lockable front suspension. The 750 watt peak power output motor is the largest motor we've talked about so far, so you'll never be short of power. And the five levels of pedal assist and no need to pedal thumb throttle will ensure you get around town quickly. The top pedal assisted speed is 20 miles per hour and the removable 48 volt 14 amp hour battery pack delivers an impressive range of 40 miles, which is pretty impressive considering it weighs over 68 pounds. The folded dimensions are 41 inches by 23 inches by 31 inches, so it can easily be stored in your trunk, closet, or under your desk. The cinch comes in crest white and slick black and is priced at $1,599 USD. But if that's too much, it can be financed for $145 a month via a firm. Number 2. GoTrax Shift S1 Reinvent your daily commute with the Shift S1 by GoTrax. This folding electric bike's lightweight frame, 16-inch tires, and foldable design allow you to take it everywhere and store it anywhere. Enjoy traveling up to 15 miles per charge with the 36-volt battery. The amperage on the battery does leave a little to be desired with a mere 5.2 amp hours total. We're sure GoTrax has done this to keep costs down, and that brings us to why this folding electric bike is so high up on our list, the price tag. Coming in at just $549, the Shift S1 is tied with the mini size Swag Cycle Pro for the most affordable folding electric bike on this list. But that bike has a 10 inch rear tire and a 12 inch front tire, whereas this bike has matching 16 inch tires, making for a much more comfortable ride. The battery pack is mounted behind and below the seat post, and the 350 watt hub motor is actually mounted to the front instead of the rear, meaning you could lose torque and acceleration. The Shift S1 weighs just under 40 pounds and comes in two colors, white and black. Number one, Rad Mini 4 by Rad Power Bikes. Our number one folding electric bicycle is the Rad Mini 4 by Rad Power Bikes. But don't let the mini name fool you. Sure, this bike can quickly fold down when you need extra space, but it also packs quite a powerful punch with its 750 watt gear hub motor and five level pedal assist, so you're always ready for action and adventure. The motor delivers 80 newton meters of torque, and the 48 volt, 14 amp hour Samsung battery pack delivers over 45 miles of charge, and it's rated for over 800 cycles. The 3 inch thick CST Big Boat 20 inch tires have an integrated tire liner that adds a line of defense against small punctures, and the front suspension fork has 80 millimeters of travel, providing an extra comfortable ride. The LCD display allows the rider to see all the information like battery life, speedometer, and pedal assist level. And and if pedal assist isn't your thing, then you can rely fully on the motorcycle style twist grip throttle to get all 750 watts of power. So get rugged with our pick for the best folding e-bike of 2021 for $12.99 USD today. You can also finance this bike for as low as $46 per month. And now, as promised at the beginning of the video, we've added a bonus for all you bicyclist, electric bicyclist, and folding bike enthusiasts. And of course, I'm talking about the Switch Electric Bike Conversion Kit. If you don't have the time or money to purchase a new foldable electric bicycle, why not just turn your current bike, whatever kind of bike it may be, into an electric bike? Yep, the founders of Switch have developed an e-bike conversion kit that comes with a 250 watt, high torque, brushless hub motor, and 36 volt battery pack that easily mounts to virtually any bike, in any size rim that you need to match your bike. A very special thanks to Miss Barb for bringing this one to our attention. With the market for electric vehicles getting bigger every day, it's no surprise that bicycle manufacturers are also getting in on the action. And with so many e-bike manufacturers popping up, it may be difficult to keep track of them all. That's why we've done the heavy lifting for you and found a company that makes great electric bicycles, offers them at a great price, and has the customer service to make sure that you, the end customer, is always satisfied. Jupiter Bikes is an innovation-based electric bike company based out of the U.S. They got their start by building one of the world's smartest and most compact folding electric bikes, the DLX, and have been building rapidly on every success since. With a separate model for every style of riding, you can expect the absolute highest quality when riding an e-bike that bears the Jupiter Bikes insignia. Jupiter Bike Defiant the first e-bike from Jupiter Bikes that we'll cover is the Jupiter Bike Defiant, which happens to not only be a fat tire electric bike, but also happens to fold up, allowing for a better user experience, especially when transporting or storing the bike. 
This fat tire bike comes with 4 inch wide by 20 inch in diameter fat tires that make for a steady ride, great for tearing through rough terrain like sand, mud, rocks, and even snow. If riding on snow or the beach isn't your thing though, then don't worry. The Defiant is also great for cruising around on regular streets, bike lanes, and sidewalks. Each battery pack can take the Jupiter Bike Defiant up to 40 miles or 64 kilometers on a single charge. Another great selling point for the Defiant is the extra powerful 750 watt rear hub mounted motor that delivers a throttle and pedal assisted top speed of 20 miles per hour. You can go faster than this though simply by pedaling harder. Some other great features include a twist grip throttle that supplies you with power on demand, a bright LCD display that shows you your speed and battery life, as well as alerting you to which of the five levels of pedal assist you are currently riding in. Wait, did we just mention five levels of pedal assist? Yep, another reason why Jupiter Bikes is so great is that most of their bikes offer up to five levels of assistance, whereas other e-bike manufacturers sometimes only offer three levels of assistance. Not only is the Defiant easy to ride, quick, and full of assistance features, but it's also easy to store thanks to the simple to use folding mechanism. In just three steps, this bike can fold down to 38 inches by 22 inches by 28 inches, perfect for storage in tight spaces in your home, trunk, boat, RV, or wherever you need to store your folding electric bike. Jupiter Bike Summit If the fat tire Defiant just isn't what you're looking for in an e-bike, then how about an electric mountain bike? Yep, Jupiter Bikes has the EMTB e-bike niche covered with their very own trail-ready Summit electric folding mountain bike. The Summit is great for your next off-road bicycling adventure as it is built for speed and features a lightweight touring frame that weighs a total of a mere 38 pounds without the wheel, battery, or seat, that is. What's more, the Summit features a concealed and removable 48-volt, 7-amp-hour battery that delivers a total driving range of up to 30 miles. The 28 miles per hour top speed is due in part to the 26 inch three fend aerodynamic mag wheels that cut through the wind, allowing you to achieve higher top speeds. The top speed is also due in part to the 500 watt rear hub mounted motor and 21 speed Shimano gear shifter. The shifter is controlled by thumb shift levers that allow you, the rider, to rapidly shift between gears as needed. The Jupiter Bike Summit also features a twist throttle grip for adjusting speed so you can get power on demand, much like you would on a motorcycle. The bike also features a large LCD display so you can stay informed while cruising around. The display tells the rider how fast they're going, how far they've gone, what pedal assist level they're using, and perhaps most importantly, how much battery life is left. But you can't go mountain biking without suspension, right? Well, the Summit features a front fork coiled suspension that helps you ride over bumps, attack rocky terrain, and even get airborne if that's your thing. Did we mention this electric mountain bike also folds up? Yep, just to make sure the rider doesn't have any difficulty getting to and from their favorite trail, Jupiter Bikes made the Summit electric mountain bike foldable. In a few easy steps, this e-bike will fold down to fit in your trunk so you can get to the trail fast. Jupiter Bike Discovery X5 If you're looking for an e-bike that's a little more compact, then the Jupiter Bike Discovery X series might be what you need. At first glance, the X5 and X7 might seem too small to be comfortable, but just hear what one of the many 5-star reviewers has to say about the Discovery X5. Jeff from St. Petersburg, Florida stated in November of 2021 that after years of hauling around a clunky golf cart on a trailer behind their RV, they decided to buy e-bikes instead. Their local surf shop carried the Jupiter Bikes lineup, and when they saw the Discovery X5 series, especially folded up, they were sold. Sturdy, comfortable, powerful, and long range. The small size will fool you at first, he states, but these little bikes are the real deal. We stash the bikes inside the RV and no longer have to drag around an easy go, which happens to be a brand of golf carts. And if Jeff's recommendation wasn't enough, then we have a few things to say about the Discovery X5 as well. First off, the low center of gravity gives you great responsiveness perfect for a ride around town and the three level paddle assist standard for these smaller electric folding bikes and high torque 350 watt hub motor works in tandem to boost your acceleration. If you don't want to paddle, however, simply twist the handle to go full motorcycle mode. You'll easily achieve your 16 mile per hour top speed. 
As with other Jupiter bikes, if you want more range on the go, simply purchase multiple battery packs. They're easy to transport and even easier to change out. And when it comes to portability, the smaller 16-inch tires, three-step folding mechanism, and built-in magnets that help the bike stay securely folded makes for an incredible folding and storage user experience. Jupiter Bike Discovery X7 if you want a slightly larger folding electric bike option, then you're in luck because the brand added a new addition to the Discovery line, the Discovery X7, which is an upgraded version of the X5. The 20-inch tires are 4 inches larger than the tires on the X5, and the 45-inch wheelbase creates more of a full-sized bike feel. The Discovery X7 comes with 160mm stainless steel disc brakes and a Shimano 6-speed gear shifter. The unfolded dimensions are 63 by 23 by 45 inches, but the bike folds down perfectly into a smaller size of a mere 36 by 17 by 25 inches. So if you're looking for a slightly larger upgraded version of the X5, then the Discovery X7 is the Jupiter bike that you want. Jupiter Bike Atlas. Last but definitely not least is the Atlas Electric Step Through Bike. Sharing features similar to the Jupiter Bike Summit, the Atlas is the milder version of an electric mountain bike that's built for a more comfortable ride, yet is still able to attack difficult terrain. Designed with you in mind, the Jupiter Bike Atlas brings together the best features like a powerful 500 watt motor and low center of gravity so you can find new confidence when riding around your town. The 500 watt motor is paired with five levels of pedal assist and the bike comes with an upgraded cockpit that has an adjustable neck and upgraded LCD. The battery on the Atlas is also a 48 volt 10.4 amp hour lithium ion battery that once fully charged gives you a total driving range of 40 miles and it only takes four to six hours to charge via a standard outlet. Did you know that car companies find it easier to sell electric cars to customers that already own electric bicycles? Yep, that's why many car companies are investing in building their own e-bikes or are partnering with companies that already build e-bikes. And because of this, we've put together a list of seven incredible e-bikes built by car companies. Number seven, Audi e-bike. Our first incredible e-bike built by a car company is the Audi Concept e-bike. This bike is not only fast, but it is fun and easy to use and is great for doing tricks, as witnessed by this guy. With no expenses spared, Audi tasked their highly paid automobile engineers with building an e-bike that is a high performance solution for sporty consumers. The 26 inch wheels come with broad spokes that optimize airflow and the 11 kilogram carbon fiber frame show the brand's commitment to ultra lightweight design. The 2.3 kilowatt electric motor is mounted to the bottom bracket and enables an ungoverned top speed of 80 kilometers per hour, and the stated range is 70 kilometers. Number 6. N Plus Mercedes Benz EQ. N Plus Bikes and Mercedes Benz have teamed up to create a Formula E electric bike series with three trim options available. Engineered to maximize performance and designed to be sleek, the EQ Formula E-Team e-bike looks like a classic road bike rather than a bulky bike with huge external batteries. One unique feature is the Gates CDX carbon drive belt that is used in lieu of, of a traditional chain. The base trim model is a step-through style frame featuring a 250 watt rear hub mounted motor. It costs $1,990 and offers 30 miles of range. The other two trims feature a mid-hub-mounted 250-watt motor with more amperage and more torque. The mid-trim is $3,200 and features 37 miles of range. The most expensive trim is $4,500 and features 62 miles of range. Number 5. Volkswagen Streetmate While not necessarily an e-bike, the Streetmate is an electric scooter developed by Volkswagen as a solution for the urban mobility race. At first glance, it may appear bulky, but upon closer look, you'll find that the Streetmate is a simple idea made better. With bigger wheels, including a larger front wheel that results in a better position for the rider, disc brakes to slow your roll, and a simple black and white color scheme, VW really has made a personal transportation vehicle that is pleasing to the eye and easy to use. 
The battery is integrated into the floor and delivers a driving range of 37 miles, and the rear 2.7 horsepower electric hub motor delivers a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Number 4. Peugeot EF01 Folding Electric Bike the EF01 is an innovative folding electric bicycle by French car manufacturer Peugeot. The single-sided front and rear forks make it easier to fold up your bike by only blocking one side of the wheels. This allows for tighter folding dimensions so you can easily bring your EF01 onto the bus, train, or into the coffee shop or work. The frame, fork, handlebars, seat post, and crank set are made of aluminum, and the total weight is 18.6 kilograms, or 41 pounds. The total range is 30 kilometers, and the max governed speed is 20 kilometers per hour. Number 3. GM Arrive Merge Up next is another mobility solution, this time by US-based General Motors. While only currently sold in three countries, Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands, the Arrive Merge Folding E-Bike provides an easy last-mile transportation solution. However, unlike a mountain bike or BMX, the Arrive is not built for recreation. Rather, it's purely for getting from point A to point B, usually in densely packed city centers. The Arrive Merge folds into a package that is scarcely larger than a piece of carry-on luggage. The small motor helps take the strain out of riding by delivering 635 watts and 55 pound-feet of torque. The top speed is governed at 15 miles per hour to meet local European bicycling standards, and the lithium-ion battery delivers a range of about 40 miles. Number 2. Ford Modi Me and Modi Pro Okay, name aside, did you think that Ford wouldn't dip their toe into the lucrative e-bike market? After all, the market size is currently valued at 18.5 billion US dollars and is expected to grow to 52.3 billion dollars by 2028, a mere six years from now. Anyway, Ford unveiled the Modi Me and Modi Pro at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain a few years back as part of their smart mobility plan, which includes a number of urban mobility transportation projects. The Mode Me or Modi Me is an ultra compact folding e bike intended for commuters who drive to the edge of the city and use mass transit to finish their commutes. Developed in partnership with Dehan, a well known folding bike company, the Modi Me features a 200 watt motor, a 9 amp hour battery, and a top governed speed of 25 km per hour. The Mode Pro or Modi Pro is a cargo e-bike intended for commercial use for couriers, electricians, and other delivery services. Both bikes feature carbon belt drives so the user doesn't have to worry about greasy chains as well as vibrating handlebars to alert the driver of nearby cars. Number 1. Jeep e-bike Designed to conquer technical off-road terrain like sand, snow, and rocky trails while simultaneously conquering your pocketbook, Yes, this bike is about $7,500. The all-new Jeep electric mountain bike is the result of a collaboration between Jeep and the e-bike company QuietCat. Configurable as a Class 1 or Class 2 e-bike, the Jeep e-bike is the ultimate all-terrain electric bicycle. With 750 watt and 1000 watt powertrain options available and 10, count them 10 levels of pedal assist and a removable thumb throttle, you're sure to find the right setup that is perfect for you. Here's a list of the five coolest e-bikes you've probably never heard of but are worth considering. We have not been sponsored by any of these brands and our ranking is solely based on reviews and surveys we have conducted or studied. Number five, Rod e-bike. Unique and exciting colors, high capacity battery, powerful motor and integrated system for alarm and GPS, anti-theft system, these are just a few features of the amazing Rod e-bikes. There are three models you can choose from, and if you're wondering about color, it's completely customizable. For a price of $3,280 US dollars and free shipping, this is what you'll be getting. Motor size, 250 watt or 350 watt, you can choose either. Wheel size, 26 or 29 inches. Battery, lithium ion battery. Top speed, 25 miles per hour. Average driving range, 50 miles. The battery gets fully charged in two hours and a magnetic charging system has been incorporated. 
Some other features include front and rear lights, GPS, fingerprint unlock, battery and charger, and handmade frames. With their aim of reducing the carbon footprint and revolutionizing the concept of urban cycling, all three models of their bikes are aesthetic and beautifully crafted. Number 4. Super Strata Bike Popularly marketing themselves as the world's first true unibody carbon fiber bicycle, Super Strata bikes are sturdy and strong. Irrespective of whether you want to bike your way through your city traffic or uphill on rocky terrains, Super Strata will provide you the versatility you require. With two equally amazing models, Super Strata bikes are made of industrial-grade thermoplastic carbon fiber composites. Super Strata E is the e-bike model that has the following features. Weight of the bike is estimated to be 24.2 pounds, but can vary depending on the size. It has a 250-watt motor, and the average speed is 20 miles per hour. Once fully charged, you'll be able to travel for 60 miles. It has a slim tube battery for a sleek and aerodynamic ride. The bike is available in two classic colors, black and white. The cost of the bike is $3,999. US dollars. Number 3. Jackrabbit this is a micro e-bike that is quite convenient in terms of portability and use. If you're looking for a bike that you can use to complete your daily chores or for traveling to the office or college every day, this bike is definitely worth considering. This compact e-bike weighs a mere 24 pounds and has a max speed of 20 miles per hour. It has a rear hub-mounted 300-watt motor and a range of 12 miles. The charge time is 2 hours and has stable and thick tires. Sounds perfect to navigate through city roads, doesn't it? You can choose from four color options, black, white, yellow, and electric blue. Easier to store and carry around, you can buy your Jackrabbit for a price of only $1,199.99 US and free shipping. You can also add some accessories and customize your bike by adding a rear basket, light sets, fender sets, phone, and cup holders. This is the most affordable bike we have come across till now, and its features are comparable with some of the best e-bikes around. Do you think Jackrabbit is a good purchase? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 2. Impossible Bike If you think Jackrabbit is compact, then you need to take a look at the Impossible Bike. With no compromise made on its durability, strength, and sturdiness, the Impossible Bike is a vehicle you can take anywhere, literally anywhere. After all, it fits in a backpack. The frame has thick, high-strength steel-grade attachments and can carry a rider of maximum weight of 220 pounds. The 10.44 watt-hour battery ensures that you are able to ride at a speed of 12.5 miles per hour for 60 minutes or at normal speed for 15.6 miles. And now for the number one e-bike on our list of e-bikes that you've never heard of, the Han Bike. This chainless e-bike has many features, but one of the most exciting is the Hill Assist feature where the smart sensor on the bike detects whether you're going uphill or downhill so that you can have a comfortable and relaxing ride. The smart sensor also protects you at sharp turns if your bike tilts beyond 30 degrees. The bike features the smallest 250-watt hub motor. Here's something crazy. The drive shift system can run over 24,000 miles without the need for any maintenance. The bike weighs about 45.9 pounds. It has a maximum speed of 15.5 miles per hour and a range of 28 miles. The charging time of the battery is a little higher coming in at 3.5 to 4 hours. It is available in three color combinations, white and black, all black, and red and black. It is quite easy to assemble and has a foldable design. It also features a five-level pedal assist. Coming to the most important aspect, the Han Bike electric bike cost a mere $1,499 and can be purchased via their Indiegogo page. If you're still struggling to reconcile your carefree bicycling days with your current life as a family chauffeur, an electric cargo bike may be a suitable choice for you. Let's have a look at the top 7 electric cargo bikes. Number 7. KBO Ranger Electric Cargo Bike One of the most important features of the KBO bike is its battery life, which is rated at 900 charge cycles. You can go up to 60 miles on a single charge due to the 840 watt battery capacity. You won't have to worry about hauling large loads or climbing steep uphills with this bike's continuous 750 watt brushless geared hub motor. The battery charges in approximately 5 hours, decreasing the time between rides and allowing you to keep up with your riding demands. The highest speed of the KBO Ranger electric cargo bike is 24 miles per hour without pedaling, which is the legal speed limit for street legal e-bikes in most locations and conformity with federal e-bike legislation. With pedaling, the peak speed may reach 25 plus miles per hour. This model likewise has a 60 mile range. Number 6. 
the Urban Aero Shorty. The Urban Aero Shorty is a little bike with huge dreams. The Shorty's small wheelbase allows it to handle similarly to a standard bicycle. It makes inner city transportation appear to be a pleasure. The Shorty, like a bike lane SUV, outperforms expectations in terms of load capacity. It has a cargo area that can hold up to 150 liters and a maximum weight of 85 kilograms. The motor has a range of up to 20 miles and a power of 250 watts. Number five, Reese and Muller Load 60. In addition to the incredible roll-off gearing Reese and Muller, picked with Bosch Mid-Drive Cargo Line Cruise Motor and a Bosch Power Pack 500 Performance 36 volt, 500 watt battery to extend the range. The Type I Road has a single battery setup, but twin batteries are an option if you need to travel a long distance. The motor is well-tuned and provides enough torque, 850 nanometers, to operate the bike without feeling like you're restraining. It made riding this bike feel easy. The capacity of the battery is 500 watt hours. The new Cargo Line Speed Drive is the quickest Bosch e-bike motor with assistance up to a speed of 28 miles per hour. 250 watts of power, up to 340% more pedal support, and up to 75 nanometer more drive torque than the previous generation for optimum riding experience. Number four, Bunch the Original. It is critical to have brakes capable of handling a large bike moving at high speeds while using an electric freight bike. Squeezing the levers will bring you to a complete halt practically immediately, and you may be confident that your valuable goods will be kept safe at all times. This new cutting edge 48 volt 652 watt battery has authentic Samsung 35E cells, the best and most dependable cells on the e-bike market today. You may ride your bike for up to 35 miles on a single charge. Their powerful 500 watt motor produces 45 nanometers of torque, allowing you to handle hillsides and grocery trips like a master. You'll feel as though your legs have been upgraded. Number three, Surly Big Easy. The Big Easy's componentry, including the frame, is built for long distance carrying. The bike comes with a 500 watt hour battery and an amount for a second battery if you want to increase the range. The Big Easy can go up to 75 miles in eco mode, but on touring, sport, and turbo modes, you can get approximately 30 miles. Their test bike came with a Power Pack 400 watt battery. The bike will be offered with a Power Pack 500, which will allow you to travel closer to 40 miles in the same conditions. Maximum speed 20 miles per hour. Number two, Furla Bikes Royce. Furla Royce Cargo Bike was designed to provide enjoyable rides, safe journeys, and unforgettable family experiences. You can switch to a completely electric ride for up to 45 kilometers at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. 350 watt geared hub high torque motor. It also boasts dual front LED lighting and a smart tail light. The Furla Royce Mid Drive has the biggest capacity battery on the market, a 19.2 amp lithium battery. The 19.2 amp batteries allows you to obtain more power and speed while using as little energy from the battery as possible. One charge provides up to 75 miles of battery life. Longer battery life means less time spent charging and more time with your family. Number one, Rad Power Bikes Rad Wagon 4. It's the most powerful and versatile Rad Wagon ever with smaller, revolutionary new tires designed in-house by our professional engineers to achieve a lower center of gravity. Its patent-pending revolutionary frame design has several points of adjustment, such as a telescoping seat post and readily movable handlebars. The Rad Wagon 4 is in it for the long haul, with a 2.4-inch shorter standover height than its predecessor and a 750-watt geared hub motor. The Rad Power Bikes Rad Wagon 4 cargo e-bike is a class two bike that has pedal assist as well as a twist grip throttle. The propulsion system is powered by a 48 volt, 672 watt battery that contains lithium MMC Samsung 35E cells and is rated for 800 charge cycles with a stated range of 25 to 45 miles. Hi viewer, they say bicycles come in all shapes and sizes. But have you ever seen a bicycle that looks like this? Or this? Or even this? No? Well that's great because today we've put together a list of the most unusual bicycles you'll see on the market. e by e -Coo. Up first on our list of the craziest and most unusual bicycles and electric bikes is the e by e -Coo. 
Claiming to be the world's most compact foldable e-scooter, the EQ guarantees real-world portability with its lightweight and very unusual folding design. In just five seconds time, you can fold or unfold the EQ, allowing for a new level of convenience that is a must in the world of micro-mobility. Twicycle. Cycling is one of the greatest workouts ever created. It's great for cardiovascular health, as well as increasing the strength of your lower body. But cycling doesn't do much in the way of strength training for your upper body. And the company claims that their innovative front crank handlebar design engages the rider's chest, triceps, lats, biceps, back, and shoulders, as well as strengthening the core. Outside of the full body workout benefits of this unusual bike, you can also expect easier uphill climbs, longer riding times, better traction, and extra power. In fact, measurements have shown an additional 300 to 450 additional watts of power when using the arm crank drivetrain mechanism. Google Self-Driving Bike A viral two-minute long video by Google Netherlands recently surfaced featuring an unusual self-driving bicycle. In the video, a bicycle is seen cruising around the Dutch country without a rider, while Pim van der Velt, presumably the director of Google Netherlands, speaks about safety concerns of cyclists in the region. The self-driving bicycle aims to reduce crashes and other bicycle-related injuries by utilizing some of the features that Google has been working on in the self-driving car industry. This unusual bike was also reported to have a summon feature similar to the Tesla's smart summon, as well as a feature that allowed the pedals to turn into pegs so you can fully experience the electric drive feature. The video has gone viral multiple times over the past few years, but the joke is revealed at the end of the video itself when it shows that a Google self-driving bike is available for one day only, April 1st. Sitgo. Up next is a bike available on Indiegogo aptly named the Sitgo by Hong Kong-based Sitgo Technology. And while this is an unusual looking bike, we can assure you this one is not an April Fool's Day joke. It took over two years to develop, including hundreds of sketches and five prototypes. What's more, the Sitgo is the first electric folding bicycle that can be fully charged via a car charging port, much like you would charge your smartphone. Featured in Gizmag and the Daily Mail, this electric folding bike is unique in that the metallic housing and frame is more reminiscent of a bulky steampunk aesthetic than it is a streamlined modern e-bike. There is also the fact that the Sitgo features an 18-inch front tire and a tiny 8-inch rear tire with no chains or drivetrain to speak of. The 36-volt, 8.8-amp-hour lithium battery pack delivers a range of 35 kilometers or 22 miles. The MSRP for this fun little bike is $1,099. US Fliz Bike The Fliz Bike is one of the most unusual bikes you may ever come across. With no seat to speak of, riders simply strap themselves in and propel themselves with their feet. And when the rider is tired of foot pedaling or it's going fast enough, they can simply lift their feet to slow down and place them on the pegs on the rear of the bike. The Fliz name refers to the German word Flitzen, which means dash or whiz. This unusual bicycle harkens back to the dandy horse or Laufmaschine in German. That was one of the first human powered vehicles that ever existed and was in fact the precursor to the original bicycle. What are your thoughts? Would you cruise around town on the Fliz? Let us know in the comments below. Quiggle. Ever heard of upright bicycling? No? Well, the founders of German-based Quiggle have been causing quite the stir on social media thanks to their unusual looking bike that has tiny 12-inch wheels and a down tube that almost seems to skirt the ground. What makes this bike even more unusual is that the seat post is mounted to the handlebars, making the bike appear to be unrideable. However, when riders mount the quiggle, their position is perfectly straight or upright, instead of the usual hunched or bending over position of typical bikes. This unusual bike garnered plenty of attention among last mile commuting enthusiasts for its collapsible folding design, and the total weight is 18.7 pounds or 8.5 kilograms. Elliptigo. Featuring another way to stand and exercise while cycling, 
The Elliptigo is an unusual yet innovative bike that allows you to exercise outdoors without the traditional impact associated with activities like running. The brand states there is no other device on the market that provides this level of low-impact full-body exercise. In fact, the University of California performed a study on the bike that concluded that the Elliptigo burns 33% more calories than riding a traditional bike at the same speed. Manta 5 Now it's time to get off the streets and into the water with the Manta 5 Hydrofoil e-bike by New Zealand-based Manta 5. This unusual e-bike is made for cycling's new frontier, water, and is propelled by a pedal-driven propeller that is also assisted by a 460-watt electric motor. Once in motion, the rear 2-meter-long hydrofoil and front 1.2-meter-long hydrofoil provide lift kind of like underwater wings and is capable of reaching a top speed of 22 kilometers or 14 miles per hour. In fact, the company released a video showcasing the Manta 5 setting a world record by crossing the 24 kilometer Cook Strait between the North and South Islands of New Zealand. And we here at The Future think that is a really innovative feat. Loppy Fit. The Loppy Fit, AKA the walking bike, is an innovative, albeit unusual bike that supplies a totally new way of moving and exercising. In place of a typical chain-mounted drivetrain, the Loppy Fit features a treadmill that you walk on, just like the ones you'd find at a gym. The treadmill feature is assisted by a 350-watt motor with multiple gears to boost the rider's walking pace to speeds greater than or equal to that of traditional bikes. The 48-volt, 20-amp-hour lithium-ion battery pack generates enough power for the typical rider to get between 30 and 50 miles of range, and the top speed is roughly 20 miles per hour. Buy simple. The last unusual bike on our list is from the boutique-style bicycle brand Buy Simple from Bellingham, Washington in the United States. What makes this bike so unusual is the deliberate non-existence of the typical crank mechanisms and gear shifters. While normally a critical component, the creator of the Bicycle chose to instead rely on a direct drive rewheeling rear hub, which makes for a rare two-wheeled contraption unlike anything you've ever ridden before. This creates a shorter wheelbase with pedals on the rear wheel and a bike seat directly above it, making for a somewhat bizarre appearance. Despite the unusual look, riders state the Bi Simple rides much like a single speed fixed gear bike, only with the option of the rear wheel steering. Simply pull a lever on the frame to liberate the rear wheel, and it will turn along with the front wheel so you can navigate ultra tight turns as well as crab walk all over town. The Bi Simple Play is available in two sizes small for riders under 5'10 and large for riders 5'10 and above. Both models are available now for 799 USD. But what about the tiny e-bikes? The ones you can carry around effortlessly and even slide into your backpack? Well, here are the top 10 tiniest e-bikes you can buy right now. Stay tuned because one of them just might make your life a lot easier. Number 10, Airwheel E3. Coming in at number 10 is the E3 by Airwheel, an electric bike that folds up into the size of a standard backpack. Yes, you heard us right. You can not only ride the E3 around campus and to class, but you can carry it inside as well. The folded size of this tiny compact folding bike is 15.75 inches by 13.9 inches by 18.58 inches. The E3 is also extremely lightweight, coming in at 27.6 pounds, making it easy to lift and carry around, as well as to store in the office, car trunk, or even in a closet at home. The 300-watt rear hub mounted motor delivers enough power to achieve a top speed of 12.5 miles per hour, and the lithium-ion battery is also lightweight, coming in at 3 pounds. Number 9. DYU V1 if the E3 isn't tiny enough for you, the next tiniest e-bike on the list is the fun and small DYU V1. Considered one of the best budget e-bikes for 2022, this micro e-bike's rechargeable 36-volt 10-amp-hour battery pack powers the in-hub 240-watt electric motor and allows the bike to reach a top speed of 15.5 miles per hour. The handlebars fold down quickly and the seat is completely removable, allowing you to quickly board a bus or train or to stash it in the trunk of your car or hide it under your desk. 
The DYU V1's minimalist design, rear suspension, and $469 price tag make this extremely tiny e-bike a convenient and comfortable choice for anyone looking to give micro-mobility a try. Number 8. Coswheel A1 Born for inner-city traveling, the Coswheel A1 smart-folding e-bike just might solve all your last-mile transportation needs. This super-slim and super-tiny e-bike weighs 36.38 pounds, or 16.5 kilograms if you're outside the United States, and is capable of delivering a driving range of up to 28 miles. The patented folding technology really is what sets this e-bike apart from other mini e-bikes. The frame can be folded in a few quick seconds, allowing you to easily lift it up the stairs, get it on or off the bus, or store it in a closet or other small area. Acceleration is handled by the thumb throttle and the 350-watt hub motor delivers a top speed of 22 miles per hour. The folded dimensions are 14.5 inches by 7.5 inches by 42 inches. Number 7. Guy Roar C2 The Guy Roar C2 is another tiny electric bike, complete with its own take on a folding mechanism. With a single-sided fork, two mini-sized luggage-style wheels, and the ability to fold inwards, you end up with a compact bike that you can pull behind you as you walk down the road. Featuring a large 450-watt brushless hub motor that gives a top speed of 18.6 miles per hour and a 36-volt 10-amp-hour battery pack that delivers up to 20 miles of range, the C2 can effortlessly get you around town while remaining compact and manageable. The frame is made of sturdy aluminum alloy, allowing for a maximum load capacity of 265 pounds and, when folded, the brand claims it can save you up to 50% or more of trunk space. The Guy Roar C2 provides excellent value for money and can be purchased for $600. Number 6. Hymo H1 Durable, compact, and super tiny, the next micro e-bike on our list is the Hymo H1, a bike designed from the ground up to be the ultimate micro-mobility solution. Portable and lightweight doesn't mean it isn't sturdy, though. The H1 frame is made entirely of high-grade A380 aluminum alloy, allowing for a total weight capacity of 220 pounds. Not bad, considering it weighs in at just 32 pounds, or 14.5 kilograms. The hub motor is about the smallest you'll see, coming in at just 180 watts, and the 7500 milliamp hour battery delivers 12.5 miles of range. The 7-inch shock-absorbent tires might be the smallest on this list, and the folded size is roughly the size of one sheet of A3 paper. Before we get to number 5, which of these e-bikes do you think is the tiniest? Stick your answer in the comments and we'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. Number 5. Jackrabbit Bike who doesn't have something nice to say about these guys? Ever since I first saw the Jackrabbit e-bike trailer last year, I've wanted to feature them here on my channel. This tiny e-bike requires no heavy lifting, no pedaling, and no sweating. Just 20 miles per hour of pure electric fun. And while it may not be the tiniest e-bike comparatively, it is actually one of the lightest, coming in at just 24 pounds. I think they achieved this lower weight by using a smaller 151 watt hour battery that delivers only 10 miles of range. There's an option to buy multiple battery packs on checkout, but who needs range when you're having this much fun? The rear tire is slightly wider than the front tire, and when folded, the Jackrabbit e-bike is only 7 inches wide. Now how's that for tiny? Get your Jackrabbit for just $999. Number 4. Fido D3 Pro Next on the list of the tiniest e-bikes is the D3 Pro Mini Electric Bike by Fido. Priced at around $650, the D3 Pro Mini carries Fido's minimalist aesthetic style. One thing that is different from other similar micro e-bikes is the use of a huge 52-tooth chain front disc. It's so large, in fact, that if you look at it from the side, the disc is almost as large as one of the 14-inch tires. This, in combination with the 12-tooth rear flywheel, provide a more comfortable pedaling experience. The frame is built of high-strength aluminum alloy, and the entire bike weighs only 38.5 pounds, making it easy to lift and carry. The handlebars can also be folded to make transportation easier. The price tag is $650. Number 3. InMotion P1F Transportation has been made fun and easy with the InMotion P1F Mini e-bike. With a comfortable and beginner-friendly design, safety-focused lighting system, front and rear disc brakes, and compact folding features, this might be one of the best tiny e-bikes on the market right now. As fun as it looks, the P1F is packed with practical features great for your daily commute. The 350-watt motor delivers a max speed of 18.5 miles per hour, and the total charge time is 5 to 6 hours. The rear wheel is 10 inches, and the front wheel is 12 inches. Price at the time of this recording is $749 via their official InMotion website. Number 2. Propella Bikes Mini the runner-up on our list of the tiniest e-bikes you can buy right now is the Propella Mini by Propella Bikes. 
Priced at $899, the Propella Mini is a fun, compact, and lightweight e-bike, ideal for urban riding and micro-mobility. It weighs just 33 pounds and features 20-inch tires, making more of a comfortable ride and, according to Forbes magazine, the Mini is a very peppy and nimble ride that is extremely easy to maneuver. The 250 nominal and 400 watt peak hub mounted motor delivers a top speed of 18 miles per hour or 29 kilometers per hour. One of the things we like most about the Propella Mini is the one year warranty and seven day risk free return policy. Yep, buy it, try it. If you don't like it, return it. And now, number one, Impossible Bike. Number one on the list of tiniest e bikes is the Impossible Bike. This bike is designed to be agile and entirely adaptable to your lifestyle with a futuristic frame and wheels. What's more, the Impossible Bike is driven by the thinnest motor and lightest battery packs on the market. It can travel up to 18 and a half miles on a single charge. The Impossible Bike is the first smart e-bike that can be folded into the size of a typical backpack. It is made of ultra-weather-resistant carbon fiber and can accompany you anywhere at any time. No matter where you store the Impossible in its charger, the never-wet-coated carrying case keeps it dry, clean, and ready to use. This video explores five e-bikes from five different brands the Aventon Cinch, the Saunders Fold, the Haybike Mars, the Jupiter Bikes Defiant, and the Fido M1 Pro. Each of the bikes on this list is foldable like little mini transformers and can easily fit into the trunk of your car. Another similarity of the bikes on this list is that they all feature fat tires that measure 4 inches in width. Narrower road bike tires do not provide the traction that fat tires have on the road. What's more, the extra surface area that fat tires provide means they add an all-terrain feature which allows them to tread through muddy water, snow, wet roads, rocky paths, and many other unconventional off-roading terrain. Another similarity between these bikes is voltage. And why do you need to know about voltage for electric bikes? Well, more voltage translates to better power retention, more efficiency, and increased range. In the past, 36 volts was a standard issue for electric bikes, but over time, 36 volts has become obsolete in favor of 48 volts, which all five bikes on this list use. So now that we've discussed the similarities, let's find out a little more about their differences. To start, the Saunders Fold X and the Jupiter Bike Defiant have the best no pedal assist total driving range, both coming in at 40 miles or 64 kilometers. Not bad considering when you're in this mode, you're essentially just cruising around town on a mini electric motorcycle. The Haybike Mars comes in next with a total driving range of 37 miles on pure electric power, and the Aventon Cinch boasts a 30 mile or 48 kilometer driving range with no pedal assist. The electric motor size of an e-bike determines the amount of electrical energy that is converted to mechanical energy per second. Therefore, the e-bikes with higher motor power are usually faster than those with lesser motor power because they are able to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy faster. The Aventon Cinch and Jupiter Bikes Defiant both have 750 watts of power, while the Fido M1 Pro, Saunders Fold X, and Haybike Mars each have motors with 500 watts of power. The Aventon Cinch weighs 30.6 kilograms or 67 pounds, which is kind of on the heavy side for a foldable bike. It might be a little heavy to carry around compared to the more lightweight Fido M1 Pro and Jupiter Bike Defiant, which each weigh in at just about 25 kilograms or 55 pounds. The Saunders Fold X and Haybike Mars are also heavier e-bikes weighing in at about 29 and 30 kilograms respectively. The Haybike Mars supports the heaviest weight with a max load capacity of 330 pounds. The Saunders Fold X and Jupiter Bike Defiant follow up with a weight limit of 300 pounds. The Aventon Cinch and Fido M1 Pro support the lowest total weight limits with about 250 pounds for the Cinch and 264 pounds for the M1 Pro. The Aventon Cinch, Saunders Fold X, and Jupiter Bike Defiant all feature five levels of pedal assistance, giving a range of choices to increase the speed to tackle hills more efficiently. One downside to the Fido M1 Pro and Haybike Mars is that they only offer three levels of pedal assistance. And now for the big moment you've been waiting for. An order from the most expensive to the least expensive folding fat tire bike by way of the base model prices directly from the manufacturer's website, the Saunders Fold X costs $1,899. The Aventon Cinch costs $1,699. The Jupiter Bike Defiant costs $1,395. 
The Fido M1 Pro costs $1,299 and the Haybike Mars costs $1,099. So here are our final thoughts on all five folding e-bikes we've discussed today. The Jupiter Bike Defiant is comparatively lightweight, fast, and has a great total driving range. The Haybike Mars is efficient, but is a little difficult to control the pedal assistance at low speeds. The Mars is also kind of heavy, so if the battery runs out before you get to your destination, it's pretty exhausting to pedal. The Aventon Cinch features a powerful motor, high total driving range with the pedal assist, and fast charging. The Fido M1 Pro is also pretty lightweight and has a very decent range. The charge time might be a little too long, but it makes up for it with a capable battery. And finally, the Saunders Fold X is quite pricey but comes with adequate speed, motor power, and has a very nice battery. Most importantly, these fat tire folding e-bikes are all portable due to their ability to fold, so it's easy to fit them into the trunks of cars or other small spaces when transporting them. This is the D3F Folding Mini e-bike from DYU Cycles. It's compact, sturdy, simple to set up and ride, and probably the safest e-bike you could ever buy as a first-time e-bike purchase. Now, DYU did send this to me to review for you, but I assure you I did ride it around for a few weeks and I do have some honest feedback. The majority of it is good, but there are a few things that I did not like. More on that in a moment. The first thing I would say about the D3F is how simple it is to own and operate. There are no shifters, cassettes, or derailers as it's a single speed bike with a 12 tooth gear in the rear and a larger 38 tooth gear in the front. And while some might not like a single speed, I found this to be a breath of fresh air as it adds to the simplicity of purchasing your first e-bike. In fact, this bike is probably the least complicated e-bike you could ever own and it's a seriously good deal coming in at under $500. My next favorite thing about the D3F is its portability. Featuring small 14 inch by two and a quarter inch tires, handlebars and pedals that fold, and a lightweight frame, this bike can be stored almost anywhere. And while most standard e-bikes weigh between 50 and 100 pounds, the DYU D3F weighs a mere 38 pounds or 17 kilograms if you're on the metric system. And despite that lower weight, the D3F still feels pretty hardy, supporting a total weight of up to 265 pounds. Personally, I'm six foot even and about 175 pounds, and I had no trouble riding this bike whatsoever. Another thing that I love about the D3F is that the electronics and battery housing has a nifty cutout section that allows you to grip the frame like a handle. This is great if you live in an apartment and have to bring your e-bike up or downstairs. It's also great for lifting the bike in and out of your vehicle's trunk. And while the D3F doesn't fully fold in half like some other e-bikes, the handlebars do fold to one side and the seat post can be removed completely, resulting in folded dimensions of 46 by 8 by 28 inches. And to take portability even one step further, when I was putting the D3F into the shed on my back porch, I noticed that the pedals can actually be folded too. While this only saves a few inches on either side of the bike, this clever feature could be the one thing that helps you fit your new e-bike into a nice slotted area in your garage or apartment. So in terms of portability, the DYU D3F definitely gets an A plus from us. Now let's run down the operating buttons. The left hand grip has the power on off button and an adorable little bell. The right hand grip is where the battery indicator and headlight on off buttons are located. To turn the headlight on, hold down the button for three seconds. But be careful though, as the light runs off the internal battery and, at least on mine, the light did not turn off on its own. It should also be noted that the headlight is mounted to the frame and not the fork. So the headlight does not turn to match the steering direction. Oh, and the rear tail light is battery operated, so it won't drain your battery. The right hand grip is a full size twist grip throttle which I tend to like more than thumb or half grip throttles. It just gives you kind of a motorcycle feel. And speaking of which, the D3F is legally classified as a class two e-bike in the US, meaning it has a motor and throttle, but won't exceed 20 miles per hour. In fact, the D3F has a top pedal assisted speed of 15 and a half miles per hour, which is pretty much what I saw during my testing. 
The 10 amp hour battery pack is located within the central plastic housing unit and features 360 total watt hours of capacity. And speaking of charge, the charge port is located on the bottom right hand side of the electronics housing unit. The design of the D3F really is quite unique. The flat black paint job with red trim and mag tires ties the design together holistically and reminds me of the paint job from the A-Team van. Yeah, A-Team. Another thing I really appreciate about the design of the D3F is how well the wiring is integrated into the frame. The brake lines and electric cables have this twisted hard plastic wrap that kind of resembles an old phone cord. The headset and handle grips really feel nice and sturdy in your hands. There is no front or rear suspension, which is typical for an e-bike in this price range, but the included front and rear fenders work great at keeping dirt and mud off of your clothes. There is also a single-sided crankset chain guard that keeps the chain from coming off as well as keeping your pant legs clean. Oh, and did I mention this sweet little kickstand? So, just who is this e-bike for? I think the D3F is perfect for anyone looking to spend about $500 on an extremely portable e-bike. I also think the simplicity of the D3F, when coupled with the lower top speed of 15 miles per hour, make this the perfect option for anyone looking to dip their toe into the world of e-bikes for their first time. The single speed freewheeling crank means there are no complicated shifters to figure out, just pedal or throttle and go. Having this said, if you're an e-bike superstar with a quiver full of Aventon or Rad Power bikes, then Eureka! The D3F is absolutely the perfect e-bike for you. We'll start the ride in this park right here with a 100% full charge, talk a little bit about the performance, and hopefully make it to the end with charge to spare. The first thing we did was zero out the odometer so we could accurately track the distance traveled. This is important because the stated range for the JCON EB7 is 40 miles. However, the 20 mile long rail trail we're riding on thankfully skirts the outer edges of Seattle, steering clear of those ultra steep downtown streets. After 2.8 miles on the trail, we have 95% battery left. This speaks not only to riding the JCON EB7 conservatively, but also to the quality of the 10 amp hour lithium ion battery pack hidden within the top tube of the frame. To access, hold the frame in half, unlock the battery, and the battery slides right out. You can also charge the EB7 with the battery in the frame by plugging the 2 amp charger directly into the port on the left hand side of the bike. Charging takes about 4 hours. The trip was going great, and at about 3 miles in, we passed up Kenmore Air, which is one of the country's largest seaplane companies. And as a fun fact, did you know that the modern seaplane was invented in 1912? That's 110 years ago! Just cross the five mile mark and we have 82% battery left. But before we get back on the road, let me tell you about the controls on the JCON EV7. The left hand grip has the light switch as well as the electric horn. This is the power on off button. And these two buttons increase and decrease the pedal assist level. The M or mode button toggles between current, average, and max speed. The JCON EB7 also has a walk mode you can engage by pressing and holding the minus button. But I personally feel this feature is a little bit jerky and the walking speed is set to about three and a half miles per hour, which is a tad too fast. The right hand grip is where the shifter controls and half twist grip throttle are located. And if you've never ridden an e-bike with a throttle before, just know that it allows you to do this. Anyways, the EB7 was delivered via FedEx and the inside was well padded. The zip ties were easy enough to cut off. Now, back to the ride. We just crossed the 10 mile mark and we've still got 66% battery left. 
Now I don't know if it's the low 24 inch step over height, the comfortable saddle, or the extremely affordable price tag, but of all the e-bikes I've ridden lately, and the few that I own, the EV7 is honestly the one that I ride the most. The 59 and a half pound total weight is on par for an e-bike in this range, and it's plenty easy enough for me to maneuver both on and off the bike. The high carbon steel frame is ultra sturdy and supports a payload capacity of 300 pounds. The location of the ignition is kind of annoying. You just have to keep trying until you find it. We just crossed this sign that says only class one and class two e-bikes are allowed. Thankfully for us, the Jason EV7 is a class two e-bike, meaning the throttle won't take it over 20 miles per hour. The Jason EV7 comes with stock front and rear suspension. To adjust the travel, turn the knob on the top left-hand side of the suspension. To lock out the suspension entirely, turn the knob on the right-hand side. The rear suspension is also great at absorbing bumps, rocks, and uneven terrain. We're 14 and a half miles into this trip, and it's brought us to one of Seattle's most iconic park, Gasworks Park. And then off in the distance, you can also see downtown Seattle. Complete with the Space Needle. Now it's kind of noisy, but I feel like this would be a great place to talk about the 500 watt motor on the Jason EV7. Located in the rear hub, the Jason branded motor delivers 50 Newton meters or 36 foot pounds of torque. In pedal assist one, we get 11.2 miles per hour. In pedal assist two, I got 14 miles per hour. In pedal assist three, I got 17.7 miles per hour. In pedal assist four, I got 18 and a half miles per hour. And in pedal assist five, we of course got 20 miles per hour. We've now gone 15 miles. We've now gone 15 miles and we have 52% battery life left. I think we should be able to make it to 20 miles. The recommended rider height of the Jason EV7 is five foot two to six foot two. To adjust the seat post, unhinge the clamp and raise or lower the seat to your desired height. The handlebars work the same way. Simply unhinge the clamp and raise or lower the handlebars as needed. We just finished our 20 mile bike ride from Blythe Park to Golden Gardens on the northwest side of Seattle. It's sunny, it's hot, the bike was loaded down with a 190 pound payload, we climbed over 900 feet in elevation, and we finished the ride with 42% battery remaining. My son is here. If this video enticed you to get more information about the Jason EV7, then be sure to let Jason know that I sent you there by using the link in the description of this video. From the recently released Salterra 2 from Aventon Bikes to the KBO Breeze. We'll even throw in some unboxing and assembly videos to wet your whistle, as they say. But first, in 2016, the world was introduced to the Rad City e-bike. And now Rad Power Bikes is ready to introduce the Rad City 5. Designed to do more than its predecessors, the bike was redesigned from the ground up to improve weight distribution. The ride is smoother, and the front-mounted basket can hold 22 pounds of your wares. The custom-designed 27.5 by 2-inch tires increase control, and the puncture-resistant tire liners and reflective sidewall striping ensure a safe and comfortable riding experience. The front forks have preload and lockout levers, and 60 millimeters of travel capable enough for a wide range of rider weights and terrains. The step-over frame now fits riders from 5'4 to 6'5, while the step-through has been lowered to fit riders from 4'8 to 6 feet tall. The battery has even been repositioned to improve mounting and dismounting, and for the first time, hydraulic disc brakes and ceramic brake pads have been included to improve stopping power. The half-twist grip throttle is on the right, and adjustable brake lever spacing ensures great control. The 750-watt geared hub motor was designed in-house and bears the Rad Power Bikes insignia. The semi-integrated battery has 14 amp hours and 48 volts, totaling 672 watt hours of usable power. And when it comes to charging, the simplified 10 bars LED readout delivers reliable information at any given moment, even if you're out for a night ride with friends. On the left handlebar, you'll find the new Rad Remote. Adjust the PAS level up or down with the leftmost button. The center shows the battery level, while the bottom right is the headlight indicator and the PS level is displayed bright and right in the center. The center display shows trip time, clock, odometer, speedometer, and watts flowing into the motor, while the new USB charger, battery terminal cover, Fremont pannier bag, 
rear-mounted taillight and halo headlight ensure additional peace of mind. And if you do decide to pick one up, you'll be greeted by one of the You Are Rad Rad Power shipping boxes. Then, photograph the serial number for your records and have a friend help you lift the bike from the box. Then, find and remove the smaller box. Its contents include instruction manual, charger, headlight, mounting hardware, pedals, and the assembly toolkit. Snip the zip ties to remove the front wheel. Then, remove the rest of the wrapping and shipping materials. Remove the keys and install the handlebars. Then, remove the skewer and mount the front tire. Adjust the bash guard and check the chain alignment. Install the front fender and headlight. Add grease and install the pedals. Inflate the tires, adjust the seat post, stem, and handlebars, connect the display connector, and finally turn on the battery. You and your Rad City 5 are now ready to go. Prices are regularly $19.99, but both the high step and step through models are currently $400 off at the time of this recording. Introducing the all new Avenue City Commuter from Pedego Electric Bikes. With available pannier bags for your wares and a sturdy kickstand, just hit the throttle and you're off. With plenty of purpose designed upgrades available, the Avenue is perfect for your daily commute or casual rides around town or your local park. The lightweight Avenue weighs just 53 pounds with the battery included. And with a range up to 56 miles per charge, there isn't a city commute that could stop you. The range is stellar thanks to the impressive 48 volt battery system and optional 10.4 or 14 amp hour cells, meaning it just might be the electric bike for every kind of ride. The high performance meets beautiful design. You can even choose your own style with the step through or classic frame. There's even five levels of pedal assist. The Classic comes in three frame colors, two wheel options, and two battery choices, while the step-through option adds Caribbean blue, white, and wildberry pink. Prices start at $19.95. Wake up, bad boy. It's time to check out your new KBO Breeze commuter e-bike. Complete with a battery. Just pop it in, turn it on, have a smile, and you're off. This is the step-over model in black, and it's built to make you look cool. The semi-integrated 48-volt, 16-amp-hour battery is much cheaper than gas. Like, much, much cheaper. <laughs> and after the daylight is gone, you can still ride thanks to the front and rear lights. Together, they add a meaningful bit of visibility for cars and other cyclists, and improve your ride quality at night. And if you have a nice father-son relationship, the Breeze could make a great gift. Just toss him the keys and watch the smile on his face. Congrats, Dad. Your son really loves you. Now let's go take them for a ride. The step-through and step-over models make a great pair and sometimes come with an added discount if you buy two of them together. And speaking of the step-through model, here it is in classic white on a morning commute to yoga. The Shimano 7-speed thumb shifter is paired with their Altus rear derailleur for smooth shifting through the gears. And the 62-pound weight is so light, it's like a ray of sunshine on a warm day, easy enough to push around both on and off sidewalks. The dual disc brakes provide plenty of stopping power, and the recommended rider height is between 5'1 and 6'3. The breeze is great for afternoon rides to the beach. The balance between weight and sturdiness is just spot on, making it a breeze for anyone to handle. If you'd like one of your own, go to their website, Search Breeze and add it to cart. Once your KBO Breeze arrives, cut off the shipping ties and open the exterior box. Remove the smaller box. Inside, you'll find all the necessary parts to get started. Lift the e-bike from the box and safely set down. Cut off all the ties and packaging. Then install the handlebars, remove the plastic axle piece, and slide the tire between the forks, being mindful not to damage the brake rotor. Then install the skewer, the front fender, and connect the headlight assembly. Next, insert the pedals and tighten them with the included multi-tool. Adjust the seat post to match your height and lock the lever. Remove the keys with scissors and insert the key to remove the battery. The USB port is on the inside. Finally, press and hold the M button to turn on your new ride. There's also the Solterra 2 from Aventon Bikes, which is a great city commuter especially thanks to the integrated lights and blinkers to signal the moves you make, and the torque sensor is for optimized performance. The stance is clean and the 46-pound frame is nimble, durable, attractive, lightweight, and easy to transport, whether carried up or downstairs. 
The Solterra 2 also comes with a 300 lumen front headlight, integrated tail lights with turn signals, headlight on off switch, thumb and finger controls for the main display, and a concealed USB charger for your smartphone. And if we head over to their website, you'll see the Solterra 2 is currently $1199, down from the regular $1399. For colors, they have my personal favorite, which is the Citrine, and also matte black. Scroll down, and you'll see the features list, which mentions the 20 mile per hour top speed, 350 watt motor bike range and capacity. But if you look below that, you'll see that you can get sales and service from over 1,000 bike shops. Not bad. And a little further down, you'll see the Solterra 2 has a torque sensor, which means it will detect not only when you're pedaling, but also by how much and respond appropriately. Once the bike arrives, open the flaps near the top of the box, slide open the lid and remove the accessories. Remove the clips and lift the top cover off. Remove the packaging and lift the Solterra 2 out of the box. Install the handlebars and front tire, being sure to tighten accordingly. Next, straighten and align the handlebars and tighten down. To install the pedals, be sure to match them with the correct side and remove the sticker. Apply grease to the threading and screw in, being sure to tighten with the included hex key. Adjust the seat post to your desired height, pull out the rubber cap on the down tube, and plug in the charging cable. Cut off the zip tie holding the e-bike keys. The serial number on the key will match the number on the lock. Properly inflate the tires, power on, and you're good to go.